Hello and welcome to Midweek Prayers from Pastor's Porch. I'm Pastor John Silbert of the Covenant Presbyterian Church in Butler, Pennsylvania, coming to you from my home porch here in Zelianople. Uh, it's a gray day today where I am, and there are, oh my, lots of leaves on the ground and more to come. I still see in the trees. And uh, the days are growing shorter in length. Uh, it is that time of year. But our help is in the name of the Lord, maker of heaven and earth. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Let's uh, sing. And this is uh, coming to us as a do from our hymnal, Glory to God. Uh, and the hymn is number 645. And we're going to sing the first two verses to begin our time together. And we'll conclude with verses 3 and 4 at the end of our time. So let me get a note to get us started here. Mm -hmm. Sing praise to God who reigns above the God of all creation, the God of power, the God of love, the God of our salvation. With healing balm, my soul is filled and every faithless murmur stilled to God all praise and glory. What God's almighty power has made, God's gracious mercy keepeth by morning glow or evening shade, God's watchful lie ne'er sleepeth. Within the kingdom of God's might, lo, all is just and all is right. To God's all praise and glory. Mit Freuden Zart is the tune. Wonderful text. We'll get back to that at our end. Um, our psalm today, we're gonna, I'm gonna sing it. And if you're following along, uh, Pastor Sports from Glory to God, it's coming from Glory to God. Uh, it is a tune. <laughs> the tune is bourbon, uh, but it is a tune that is a a paraphrase. Uh, and a, a take on Psalm 132. And that's our psalm for today, Psalm 132. Uh, and the tune is a uh, wonderful old tune uh, that comes out of that uh, uh, old Scots-Irish Presbyterian heritage. Uh, and um, arise, O Lord our God, arise. And so if you'd like to follow along with me, it's in number 381, but it's also hymn, I should say Psalm 132. Okay, now let me get us started here. <clears throat> Gracious covenant, Lord, fulfill. Turn not away from us your face. Establish here Messiah's throne, and let him reign within this place. Your Zion you have chosen, Lord, and you have said, I love her well. 
This is my constant resting place, and here will I delight to dwell. Amen. We make Zion God's resting place. God chooses Zion for God's resting place. Let's pray. Faithful God, we remember your promises to David and how you continue to keep them in Jesus Christ. Make our hearts your dwelling place. Clothe your people with holiness and give bread to the poor that we may rejoice and sing to you through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. The passage today from our scripture lesson for this reading, this uh, second year of readings in the daily readings, comes from Luke chapter 11. And thematically, I call this the U- I'm sorry, Uai Human, Uai Human readings. Uai Human, what is that? Well, it is the Greek for the words Jesus says to the Pharisees uh, and the lawyers when he's at table with them. He says, Woe to you. And the Greek word for woe is Uai, Uai. And human, of course, is uh, the Greek for you, plural, right? So here's a reading from Luke chapter 11. Harsh words for the lawyers and for the Pharisees, and words of uh, importance to all of us, I think, uh, in these days. Listen now for the gospel from Luke chapter 11, beginning at verse 37. While Jesus was speaking, a Pharisee invited him to dine with him. So Jesus went in and took his place at the table. The Pharisee was amazed to see that he did not first wash before dinner. And then the Lord said to him, Now, (laughs) you Pharisees clean the outside of the cup and the dish. But inside you are full of greed and wickedness. You fools, did not the one who made the outside make the inside also? So give for alms those things that are within and see everything will be clean for you. Why, who men, but woe to you Pharisees. For you tithe mint and rue and herbs of all kinds and neglect justice and the love of God. It is these you ought to have practiced without neglecting the others. Uwai human, woe to you Pharisees. For you love to have the seat of honor in the synagogues and to be greeted with respect in the marketplaces. Uaihumen, woe to you, for you are like unmarked graves, and people walk over them without realizing it. One of the lawyers answered him, Teacher, when you say these things, you insult us too. And Jesus said, Uaihumen, Woe also to you lawyers, for you load people with burdens hard to bear, and you yourselves do not lift a finger to ease them. Uaihumen, woe to you, for you build the temples of the prophets whom your ancestors killed. So you are witnesses and approve of the deeds of your ancestors, for they killed them and You build their tombs. Therefore, also the wisdom of God said, I will send them prophets and apostles, some of whom they will kill and persecute. 
so that this generation may be charged with the blood of all the prophets shed since the foundation of the world, from the blood of Abel to the blood of Zechariah, who perished between the altar and the sanctuary. Yes, I tell you, it will be charged against this generation. Ooh, why, human? Woe to you, lawyers, for you have taken away the key of knowledge. You did not enter yourselves, and you hindered those who were entering. Holy wisdom, holy word. Difficult words, difficult words for anyone with responsibility to encourage and help others to understand the work of God in their midst. It's a burden that I place upon my back as a pastor. I need to be telling the truth as much and as wherever I can. And so I also pray to God that I too may be preaching the truth, saying things that are gospel worthy. Uh, but you know what? That's not just my admonition. That's, that's one for all of us. Uh, and so as we hear Jesus rebuking the lawyers and the Pharisees, those are the people who were supposed to know how to lead folks, to bless and keep them, to encourage them into the faith that was theirs. Uh, so we ought to be very careful and mindful of how we lead others in how we uh, live our lives and in what we say that come from our hearts. Uh, there's a prayer that John Bailey uh, prays here that's, I think, apropos. Uh, and it's a series of uh, statements that Jesus said, and then a simple prayer that says, O oh God, move my heart to follow in this way. I think it's really appropriate, having just heard the reading from Luke. We'll pray from John Bailey, uh, and then we'll conclude with the Book of Common Worship prayer for this week and the Lord's Prayer. Let us pray. O oh Lord, your eternal presence is hidden behind the veil of nature, enlightens the mind of all people, and was made flesh in Jesus Christ our Lord. I thank you that he has left me an example to follow in his footsteps. Jesus said, do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, but store up for yourselves treasures in heaven. O oh God. Move my heart to follow in this way. Jesus said, strive first for the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Oh God, move my heart to follow in this way. Jesus said, do good and lend expecting to get nothing in return. Oh God, move my heart to follow in this way. Jesus said, love your enemies. Oh God, move my heart to follow in this way. Jesus said, do not fear. Only believe. Oh God, move my heart to follow in this way. Jesus said, unless you change and become like children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Oh God, move my heart to follow in this way. Jesus said, ask, and it will be given to you. Search, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened for you. Oh God, move my heart to follow 
in this way. Send your Holy Spirit into our hearts, Almighty God, to rule and direct us according to your will, to comfort us in all our temptations and afflictions, to defend us from all error, and lead us into all truth, that we, being steadfast in the faith, may increase in love and in all good works, and in the end, obtain everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. We're going to close with that first hymn, verses four, three and four, I should say, three and four. Mit Freuden Zart, the tune. And let me get there. 645. The Lord is never far away, but through all grief distressing, an ever-present help and stay, our peace and joy and blessing. As with a mother's tender hand, God leads us all in a chosen band to God all praise and glory. Thus all my toilsome way along I sing aloud thy praises that all may hear the grateful song my voice on wearied raises. Be joyful in the Lord, my heart, both soul and body. Take your part to God, all praise and glory. Amen. May our entire lives, our living, be an expression of God's glory. May we who have the key of knowledge of the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ to enliven and to uh, bless and to keep us all, may we always turn the key, use that key to open up that wondrous story for everyone for everyone, especially in, the, especially in these anxious days. Oh, God bless you this week. And now may God bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you God's peace, now and always. Amen. Amen.